I was in Deep Creek, Maryland, and I was driving like it was like a Polaris. It's like a type of ATV. I turned quickly and it tipped. She had the helmet on and it, there's a roll cage. If it, but when you're falling that way, your reaction is put your arm out. And that's really what it was. And my arm went back and the bar went down. So it crushed my arm. And my first thought was, oh my God, my dad's gonna kill me because what, right before we got on, he's like, you better not go fast. He gave me all these rules. And I was like, dad, you're being too overprotective. Like stop being so overprotective. So that was my first thought. But when I looked down, I, I saw my arm. I was like, it's not, it's gonna be gone. But we got there and luckily they had been getting pictures from West Virginia. So Penzi was and Eagle Shader were already working up, you know, the, the game plan basically kind of then it kind of just went from there over the next you know we were there for a month and it was just every day was kind of a new thing and what was the next step you know what they were you know when when's the next surgery the next cleaning the next skin graft each day was a bit of a crisis there was like a new crisis yeah and, and the whole staff at university i mean they're amazing when you think of the you know the anesthesiologist and you know, the vascular people, everyone was pretty amazing. So basically, my arm came back and out, and it tore open my entire, like this was all whole. So one of my muscles actually fell out, so I'm missing my um, brachialis, brachialis muscle. So this, the flap is in place, so that there's not just a huge hole, because this is what it would all look like if, um, if I didn't have the muscle, my radial nerve was damaged. So they worked on that for a while. So that also they, um, the flap, they put the flap in there. And then after the flap, they added all the skin and stuff. And then they had to do, open this up to put my hip bone in. She's very strong. She really is. She's, she's got a great attitude and she has fur. Um, for a while. I mean, yeah. I think it was very painful physically for her, but um, I think, you know, and it still is. It still is. There's so a lot of nerve pain, but she's a really strong kid. When I look at it, sometimes it discourages me because I, it doesn't look normal and I know it's not going to ever look normal. I don't think about it as much on like a daily basis as much as I probably like should because I'm I'm more of a like a move past it. Like I just don't want to like think about it and like think about what I can and can't do. Cause I'm like naturally like a happy like person. She's very independent and she's going to do great. She won't be able to do as many things as she wanted to, but she's doing a lot of things we never thought, you know, she would. And, um, you know, I don't think it's going to hold her back too much.